Hey guys, welcome to BitBoy Crypto. Today, I'm not doing my regular intro. I don't have my green screen. Well, I have it, but there's nothing on it. I want to talk about today that I got hacked. Today. My Ether wallet, uh, it was compromised today. And I've learned a lot of valuable lessons from it. Um, I lost about two, uh, probably about $2,200, $2,300 today. Which, if you're... You know, a millionaire, that may not seem like very much money, but for me, it was a significant piece of my portfolio, um, definitely enough to where I feel it pretty big time. And, um, you know, the thing about having a YouTube channel is I have a platform here. Obviously, we're not the biggest channel. We're about 1,500 subscribers, but I do have a platform. I've got some, uh, a lot of followers on Twitter, a lot on Instagram, about 5,000 on each and so I've got a pretty big platform compared to most people. Now, not as big as several others, obviously. But for me, having this platform and also having to deal with the fact that I got hacked and I'm dealing with the loss of the money, but I'm also dealing with looking like an idiot. It was hard for me to, you know, come to terms with making this video, I guess. But I wanted to make this video because for me... And this is me as a person. This is not even just me on this YouTube channel. Like the number one thing that I value about myself is that I'm real. I will keep it real with you. I'm not going to be frilly. I'm not going to say things that aren't true. I'm not going to pretend to be happy when I'm sad. I'm not going to, you know, pretend to be sad when I'm happy. And uh, right now I'm pretty upset with what just happened. And so for me to continue on this channel and, you know, make videos for you guys, for the community and sweep this under the rug like it didn't happen, I feel like that would be dishonest. So I want to be honest with the Bit Squad. I want to be honest with everybody about what happened to me today. And hopefully this will help other people not to fall for what I fell for. So what I've recently discovered after doing a little bit more research is that it seems as if this entire airdrop from EOS Gas was a scam. So EOS Gas put out on Twitter that they were going to be giving away 10,000 EOS gas tokens, and that um, that was going to be equivalent to about $500. Well, that sounds exciting, right? It's not unheard of. There have been other large airdrops as well. Um, I don't know about any of that at $500, but, you know, I heard about people that got ontology um, just for signing up for a newsletter and basically that airdrop they got for free is worth like $20,000 right now. And that is, they would have got that um, before it even debuted. So, you know, to me, $500, it sounded realistic. And so I went to Twitter and um, I retweeted, I liked, I joined the Telegram, I did all the stuff. And I submitted my either wallet address and everything was fine with it. I, I've been getting more interested in airdrops because I feel like there's just a lot of money just sitting out there to be had. And all you got to do is join a couple Telegram groups. Um, so for this, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So I signed up for it. And this morning, I got this email. I will show you guys the email that I got. So this is the email I got right here. It says, action required, complete your KYC verification. Now, if you notice here, it says support at eosgas.io. So it sounds totally legitimate. That actually is the correct website. If you go to it right now and you have your MetaMask plugged up, it, it won't let you go there. <laughs> I guess you see where this is going. Is It says um, a, a, it, there is, they, they've got reasons to believe that this is a phishing website, which it is. So, But if you go to a different browser where you don't have MetaMask, this is the eosgas website looks pretty legit, you know, um, doesn't look like a scam at first glance by any stretch of the imagination. And so I found this email this morning. And the interesting thing is I know two other people that have signed up for this and neither one of them got the same email that I got. And so I read through it and I'll be honest with you this morning, I was multitasking. I was doing some stuff. I wasn't even really thinking about it. And I said, okay, sure. Complete KYC. They said the airdrop is basically finished and they're getting ready to distribute the tokens. So I clicked complete KYC. Now you can't even see what it says here. 
uh, because it takes you automatically to this. Um, let me see if I can copy the link. And, um, oops, sorry, let me see if I can copy this link here. Copy link address. Let me see if I can go to it from Safari. Okay, so this is the page that it brought me to. So KYC verification process uh, before the 30th of July. It even over here talks about you get a bonus for owning ETH and EOS and all this stuff. So I put my name in here, put in my address, which by the way, I've got a new email address, bitboy at bitboycrypto.com, but I'll that's for another video. Um, and then I put in my uh, Ether address. I'm just going to make one up here. Okay. Now what it says is it says click here to verify and sign a message. So I clicked right here and it basically takes you to a fake my Ether wallet uh, address. And, you know, I guess when I did it, I wasn't really thinking about it. Um, you know, this is one of those situations you go back and you play in your mind like what you could have done differently and how you should have um, you know, realize that this was fake. Now, obviously right here, like private key for me is something that sets off alarms. Like if they would have asked for my private key specifically, I would have been like, oh yeah, of course I don't get my private key out. But they basically did it with MetaMask. So it's not even an option that's listed here anymore. All I did was I click MetaMask and it asked me for some kind, I had to sign with some kind of message. I didn't even know what it was. It was a signature I, I'm assuming it must have had maybe my private key inside of that code. And I don't even really remember exactly how I got to it. But they've taken MetaMask off as an option. So I can't even go back in here and duplicate exactly what I did. Um, but let's see. You sign the message here and then you verify the message here. And it was really stupid. Like basically I just uh, clicked MetaMask and something popped up here. I copied it and pasted it here or something like that. And so, you know, everything was all good. I, I didn't even think about it. It wasn't one of those things where, um, you know, I sat there and pondered like, hey, this is not something I should be doing. And yet I've been guilty of judging people before for falling for phishing scams, you know. Um, and now I'm the freaking goat. Not the greatest of all time. The goat. The billy goat. Because I fell for it. And so what happened is, is I went to my Ether wallet and I logged in. And as you guys can see here, like this is my Ether wallet on Ether Scan. This is what's in it right now. I said I've got about $7. I have a bunch of worthless at the moment coins in here that I've had some airdrops with that hopefully one day will be worth something. But as you guys can see, I didn't even notice the balance. I was scrolling down and I looked here and I saw 0x minus 2004 i guess it's about 2360 that i lost and it's one of those things is as soon as it happened i knew it was gone forever you know like i knew there's no way i'm ever getting this back i knew i was hacked like it all came together like the jigsaw puzzle in my mind and uh it was like a punch in the stomach so i told my wife i was gonna go to the bank so i went to the bank and deposited some other money that i had to go deposit and stuff like that and i just sat there and I just thought, like, man, this sucks, you know, losing $2,400 out of nowhere. But it's not the $2,400. It's the prospects of what that $2,400 could be, even within a few months from now, especially over the next few years. And so it's been an absolute punch to the gut to me. If you would like to help me out with some donations to replenish any of my ZRX that was left or any other crypto um, I've got my uh, donation addresses below. You guys know I've never asked for donations, but, um, you know, I thought maybe if you guys have, you know, uh, thought my videos are good or you guys are in the Bit Squad and, you know, you just felt like you wanted to help me out a little bit with this money that I lost, like, that would be great. If not, that's cool, too. I'm not shilling my donation addresses to you. But if you if you are a big part of our community and that is something you want to do, they are down in the video description below. But, um, it's just not been a good situation. I'm not going to be doing my live stream tonight. I'm kind of bummed out right now, obviously. We'll move the live stream to tomorrow night. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, go ahead, drop them down below in the comments. I'll answer them. Um, I want to be as transparent about this as possible. 
because uh, I think it's important. And you know what? I, I think it's important for the community to know I'm just a regular person. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not some kind of crypto expert that knows everything. I'm a normal person, and I'm susceptible to uh, getting hacked like this, I suppose. I mean, obviously, I've just gone through it. And, you know, but my promise to you guys always is this. I will always be real with you. I will always keep it real. I will always be honest. And um, I think that's one thing that our channel has that a lot of other places don't have. I hope there's something that you could take away from this and learn that this can happen to anybody. So uh, thanks again for watching. Until next time, BitBoy out.